like in, okay it's being recorded uh when it comes to zoom i'm like a fish in a tank i'm just fine i'm swimming freely and i know what i'm doing here and uh, when it comes to anything else i am just try to be instead on the beach in florida where the weather is really nice and i'm just asking myself why i'm doing this it was like well, in case just a few minutes ago with uh, live facebook there are so many buttons that you need to click and then i think they just not letting you go live because they want to just check how you're doing there and what you're talking about so it goes into some i guess first to the department of propaganda and they're going to approve you just like in soviet union when i used to live there that's what's happening then nothing goes live you can print no nothing in fact uh, every even typewriter was there um, under their lock so people wouldn't be able to uh, say you know print uh, literature such as like archipelago by uh, by famous you know like kind of writers who are not politically correct there uh, and so uh, zoom is just letting you do whatever you want so all right so what we have here we have a few quite a few uh, people joined us and we have one more minute before we start and what is it now we have here Colin for best paintable photo of winter for paint uh, long and I guess some some people will join us along the way so we're going to start pretty soon gosh and I would just love to, I'm not going to paint today and draw anything on my table so this is our main camera along with the share screen and it's 140. Hello, my friends. My name is Vlad Yelisey. Welcome, welcome to Event Paintable Photos. Again, I repeat, thank you for submitting your wonderful photographs. Um, I looked at all of them and you had a chance to, you had a chance to vote for them. And you decided what is going to be our first paintable photograph in the month of March. And that is actually very exciting. So what I'm going to do now is to go through all photographs submitted very quickly. I think this whole session should not last more than one hour. That's a plan. Okay. And again, we are sorry for the delay and we're sorry for technical issues. I don't know who to blame me, Marina or Facebook. It doesn't really matter. What matters is that we are here together here on, uh, on um, Zoom and we are going to start. So uh, here is a share screen button and I'm going to share the only, only this which you already looking at it okay and i'm going to open this and that's first photograph uh let me go back so let's see uh diane stoner send us two photographs and um and we're going to look i really like this one photograph i really did did like it a lot uh you know what i like about it composition is very nice thank you diane and uh, i think it's an absolutely wonderful photo especially when it comes to kind of like that monochromatic draw uh, painting which is going to happen here and this kind of foreground nicely delineated beautiful and like lonely tree composition is second to none i have nothing to say here, except I might wish there would be like a horse with a peasant in it, you know, like walking away from me, maybe. It's a little bit lonely, lonely in terms of the impression, despite it's beautifully delineated. And I just really, really like it. Nobody walks that road. You don't see no prints, footprints, no nothing on the snow. It's a fresh snow, perhaps. And that's how it looks. It's at probably at the end of the day. So uh, beautiful. The next photo Diane submitted is this one. And I find it kind of accidental. There is, first of all, as you can see, there is a pole right in the middle. Let me just annotate it with my uh, with my rudiment. You see this pole right in the middle, my friends. That kills it. Okay, even if we remove this pole out of there, I think the composition is a little bit accidental here. Yes, it's kind of like uh, here, but this building is very kind of nothing, to be honest with you. It can be put painted now if you would decide to paint it i would change the overall chroma into much warmer 
warm appearance. You see how cold it is? It's very kind of, you know, um, how to say it, you know, detached from my feelings. I, I don't want to be there. And that makes it a no-go. And so basically, that's what it is. So let me see if I can how to, uh, okay, so stop it. And then I'm going to uh, go to the, oops, I forgot. Look at this, oh, like this now we are good. So next one, the next one, photo, photos by Victoria Katrinik. Uh, Victoria submitted two photographs. And first one is, I'm gonna share your screen, okay, again. And this one, I really like this photograph, I really do. It's actually the only problem with this photograph. Nice sunny winter day. I see there is a mountain area over there. Oh, sorry, I just pressed the wrong button. So I'm going annotated. And look at this. If Victoria would just would just crop it something like this and take only part of this photograph, that would be much better. In this case, I would focus right here, right here with that nice tree. All of this is not needed. So basically, basically you can make it wonderful photo. Look at this chimney over there. Look at this slanted roof over there. It's absolutely nice. Going down, 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 stop by this nice, beautiful tree and with these mountains behind, very nice. And you got the snow on a foreground, not much of it, but just enough to see that it's nice, nice, cold. For some, I feel like it's cold winter scenery. There is a part, a little bit snow on the, on the top of the porch over there. Overall, I really do love this photo. Let's clear all drawings. And we are going to, uh, let me see what else. There is another photograph, my friends. This is actually, this is actually my favorite. If I would have a vo voice, uh, like final, like uh, uh, undisputed voice for the final photograph, I would like all of us to paint. That would be this one. All again, the problem is you send me rough photographs and I want you to actually send me something which is you think is this. All I, I cropped it. I did already work on it. It was something like that without the foreground. I'm gonna stop with this photograph for a second because it's so beautiful. I'm right there. Look at this smoke from the chimneys. This is cold very gray morning light like you see what i mean i would warm it up everything again a little bit but in reality this this is the winner in my eye i really like this photograph there is very dynamic bridge over there very very delineated nicely background look at this this is background area a mid ground area right here and foreground all of this is actually actually create a very nice maybe crop it like this maybe include a little bit of this sky again very monochromatic extremely powerful view when i'm looking at this is it a happiness no it's not a happy view this is industrial view which is kind of working working like city town whatever it is uh, like busy and it's like winter and it's early i feel like i'm not i'm going to work right now you see what i mean it has an emotional impact on me and that's what counts it's not an eye candy but i mean that is that is really good so maybe with permission of victoria we're going to paint it another day this is check mark right here i really really think this is the winner to be honest with you so uh let me clear let me stop sharing here and let me just see what victoria got here she got only one like uh, let me see, this view is only eight likes. It's actually, I'm not alone uh, with you on this feeling or for this photo. And that is very, 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 I'm glad you did like it. So next, next one is going to be, let me see, let me stop this. And we're going to Peter uh, Retira. Hi, Peter, I hope you joined us. I'm going to share screen with you, with his image. And that's what he actually send us and that is a wonderful view i like the lake in front composition is very good but again did you notice this a little bit like like let me see annotate uh, uh that the building right in the middle if you put two diagonal lines through your 
photograph. It, you should have cropped it, my friends. You see, it's right here. That's the middle. That's a physical center. So basically, everything is centered here, which is which is actually very detractive to the uh, to the composition. If I would paint it, look what I would do. What ask yourself a question? What it's all about? Is it like two buildings and a lake? I don't think so. I, I think we need to focus more in this area. I would just even take get rid of this part of this one, created a mystery. I don't, we don't want to know, like maybe like this. How about this? You see, we don't need all of this. We don't need it. Now we are focusing much more on the, the water mill. I think it's a water mill in the middle and these two buildings. But again, the photo is gray cold, very uninviting. I mean, cold is cold. I know it's a winter, but still, I mean, there is something. If you would peer, would take this photograph during the, uh, during the uh, winter, of course, but during the uh, uh, sun rays hitting this a little bit, that might be, would be a little bit more, uh, more attractive. And it's the photo and the subject matter is second to none. It's really, really good. I, I yeah, so this this is kind of this. And so basically, let me just see how many. This is has four likes here. So I'm sorry, we might paint it later. I might ask your permission to paint it with the group later because this is my actually one of the favorite photographs as well. I actually looked at it and looked at it and actually that is what uh, uh, annotate. So let me see clear all drawings, okay? And then we're going to scroll to another painter. And this is only one, one photograph Pierre sent us. Diana Visconti. Diana, this is wonderful. It reminds me of Holland painter, Holland painters, uh, uh, I don't know, something like or clicks, I don't know here. This is just like amazing one. It has four likes only, unfortunately, but I would say that this is really, really good one. And um, I just don't know, again, maybe there is some, uh, accidental. Look at this. If I am going to crop it, I like the, that yellow in the sky in this area and the gray sky in this area. But there is so much extra we don't want to see like this. You see what I mean? Like something like that. And then the buildings, the focals are solidly behind the trees. So in order for me to really kind of appreciate the scenery. I would have to prob. I like this little snowy island here. If it only would be a little bit closer to the buildings over there. But this is kind of valid point here already to paint it. I know how to paint it and I know how attractive this painting would be. As opposed to the previous one, just pay attention people. You have to go to the Photoshop and adjust overall appearance of it. This is much warmer image, which is much more pleasant to look at, despite it is winter. You know, we don't want to see that steely, steely, very cold photographs. That it's kind of like not inviting at all. We all know that it's cold. We know that it's winter time. We know there is no light, no sun uh, showing up. But at the same time, still, it's, it's kind of like very nice. And all this warm, look at this. You see, like there is a lot of burnt sienna, burnt umber would appear. A little bit cool background trees behind this would be very nice. Actually, actually, this is really good photograph. Again, one day we might paint it. Okay, so let's me clear all drawings. Thank you for submitting this one. So this is like okay. So next painter is going to be. It's got four likes. Uh, Rachel, Rachel Elkins. Thank you for sending this one. It's got three likes. This one, I'm not really, really into this one, actually, to be honest with you. It's just, there is nothing for me to anchor my eye, you know, here much. It's a, it's a wonderfully composed image, but at the same time, uh, annotate, uh, that calls for the focal area. You see what I mean? On a foreground right in front of me. And there is actually nothing about it, like special, to be honest with you. I love dynamics. I love that you see this kind of like thing, the cars are going and turning, very diagonal, leading you right into the image. That is very good. 
but this thing kind of makes it non um, not a show now go and uh the again uh very wintry very nice and the and the snow on the tree is very attractive over there and it's kind of weird to have the green during this winter so it's probably you know this kind of trees which like constantly green elm, elms and this and that and it's kind of like sort of interesting but again if you would warm it up slightly that might be could be better well okay so let me just clear hold on for a second annotations uh ta -ta -ta. and where is it annotate okay annotate and then clear all drawings okay and then we're going to the um to the next photograph. So Michael Reef, that's the photo I was looking for so long. And I said, Michael, if you, it's like me and Marina were looking at it yesterday. And I just said like, you know, five likes only, but again, uh, Michael, if you would just take this and just crop it like this, look, and we were arguing where to crop it. It's really, really, there is nothing on the left maybe this is in the middle right so i said let's just take it here a little bit like this okay so the building would be so we have a foreground beautiful foreground we have very nice look at this cast shadows on the snow right here this is really makes it and then just maybe you know this is actually wrong and just just what you see there is a danger this it's very hard to crop because the middle is become your building almost like very close to the middle. You want that be, let me clear all drawings. You want that somehow on a side of it. So maybe like that or something, I don't know. Yeah, now, now it's better. Okay, so when it's comes here, you see the rule of third here, you see this bum, boom, bum. And now it's kind of tend to this, and that is a focal kind of thing. And that is wonderful. So if you would just, Michael, you would get like three times more likes. You see what I mean? And so when you paint this, uh, uh, when you posted it, it would be a, actually a winner here. And look at the sunny days and everything. Let me clear. Just let's enjoy it for a second. Last time I'm going to go to the next uh, painting uh, photograph, sorry, of yours. So and, and this one. Um, yes there is a bridge but it's too dark and everything is very white it's not warm not cold you see it's kind of neutral here and i hate to be honest with you people i don't know how to paint this i actually would have a hard time painting all of this i think for watercolor this is a nightmare this is we paint from light to dark what does it mean i have to paint all negative space here it's just some photos are unpaintable when it comes to the oil, how to paint this? But when it comes to the oil, that's not an issue. This is like oil, best for oil. And oil painting would be, I think, I think would be gorgeous here. Just make it warm, a bridge, something like, you know, give a little bit of color, cooler water here, just in here, and everything else stays the way it is. And that's a winner. Again, it's a little bit in the middle. People pay attention to composition. What is the number one in the painting? You're going to museum, you're looking at something. And some paintings are like magnetic. They just attract people. Why? That's because composition is second to none. Composition is professionally composed. Everything is in the right place. Everything falls into the beautiful uh, movement and, and, and uh, parts of all this kind of, let me clear, part all, each individual part falls into and complements each other. And there is like hierarchy of elements that in, in, in a painting is um, composed very nicely. And so being in the middle is not one of them, to be honest. It could be, I like this is like kind of shifting it from that, but but so that's why we got only one like here, I think. So in the future, you have to really, really think, think about your photo. You have to think about composition. And uh, most of the time, 
the problem lies in the composition. And Sarah Clark Baskin, Sarah, thank you for sending us. Again, it's very, very uh, painting, which reminds me of Ho Holland, Holland, uh, all the, uh, uh, what it's, um, mm, gosh, it's just, I'm getting all this painter. I mean, you know, this kind of uh, hunters going on this, beautiful, beautiful. To me, this photograph is kind of, I don't know. It looks very flat very flat to me. I just don't know how to paint it nicely in watercolor. It's very nice if it's you going a little bit more abstract, a little bit more decorative here. Wonderful photograph. Decorative photographs and paintings, they are a little bit kind of, they don't enjoy the depth. And depth here is not very well defined, despite we see foreground and background. But there is nothing here on the foreground. There is actually nothing here. I don't want to make this people focal point. You know what I mean? There's got to be focal area somewhere. And uh, uh, oops, I'm sorry. I just accidentally share screen again. I, I'm pressing wrong buttons here. So we're going to annotate. So focal here, nap. Focal here, why? Here maybe, no. You see everything kind of arrogant. There is no hierarchy of things that are detached. I can cut off this and put something here instead, and that will be still fine. So there is no connection really between these two. And painting is a story. It is, has to actually connect things. So, but nevertheless, I enjoy just looking at it. It's like Bregel, you know what I mean? Oh, I, now it comes to my mind. It's a Bregel painting. Very, very, very interesting. Okay, so uh, let me clear all drawings and then we are going to the next. All right, they're not that many, so it's okay. Six likes we got here. Sarah Clark Baskin. Uh, Sarah, thank you for this wonderful thing. It uh, has seven likes here. And let me just double click on it. I like this. This is a clear focal area over there. The only problem I would have with this is that, again, this building a little bit standing on its own. It's more like decorative approach that nothing's going on around. Like put, a, put something next to it, like maybe a boat connecting the, let me just hold on, don't stop share, just, I don't know. Why would it be uh, somehow they got to be connection between these two areas? You see what I mean? There is none, nothing. Again, I can cut it off, you know, and it's two different images, water and this. And then this is standing away. But that's a story. Like you're looking at it and you're like, why is this building so alone? I mean, is it a witchy woman lives here? Nobody wants to talk to her and see her and everything. Well, it's a story. I like this, these two. They are connected, you see? But that connection is very, very subtle. And connection, this is also very, very, very faint. So I would say, you know what? If you want to paint it somehow, crop it like this. Crop the hell out of it. Okay, get somehow water maybe, you know? I don't know how, maybe even, I was playing with it a long time in terms of the cropping. I couldn't come up with the solution which makes it really solid one. But again, thank you for this. So you see kind of, kind of like, kind of like these issues we need to address. Again, color wise, red, that's only color here, really beautiful, beautiful. Maybe a different angle, maybe something else. I have no idea. All right. Okay, Sarah, a very, very good. Now clear all drawings. Okay, and I'm going to the next, to the next painter, Jane Roy. Jane, beautiful. I saw paintings like this, and that is in Ontario, Canada. Beautiful winter road goes up and down. Let me click, double click on it. And, and we have a Sila tower on the, on the left. And every, it's classic, you know, there's how to argue with this. Again, too much cold here. Look at this. Let me tell you something, Jane. What you need to really do is to make it warmer, okay? There is a lot of blue sky, a lot of blue sky. Then we have a, a lot of blue in the foreground color itself, okay? So if you would warm it up, look what will happen. We have a lot of blue sky check a little cold here, check, but we need to a kind of a balance it with much redder trees, 
okay, in this area, this whole area, let me change the color, the yellow should be much warmer, okay? And then it would fall into very nice, very attractive balance. And I like dynamics of it. Look at this, the road with my green, I'm going to draw the road located in the image beautifully, not in the middle. It's just like this, it takes about one third, not quite, but look at this. Again, I'm with green, I'm drawing you the rule of one third. It's about, about, not like, I mean, it would be probably here. You do, it doesn't have to be exactly, but this is perfect location for this. I like that silo, we can actually enhance it and make it bigger. And then we, we, made a, we, will make, we would make a little bit redder, you know, this kind of branch in here and here and here, and it would be gorgeous. But I mean, you have not done that and you got two likes only, which is surprising. I would say it's one of the best two. All right, stop. Uh, let me clear all drawings. And then I'm going to, I'm going to, uh, hold on. I need a lot of things to press. Bear with me before I go to the next photograph. Okay. so. There's one photograph, Jane Roy, Marina talking to me. Oh, Vlad, what's wrong? Why? And I, 15 likes for God's sake. I'm like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Let me just double click. Okay. And I would say overall, very pleasant. But what stops me? Oops, I'm sorry. I pressed the right, wrong one again. Again, sorry about it. Okay, so I annotate, not stop sharing. It's, it's so funny, you know. All right, so what we're going to do, <clears throat> uh, what we're going to do, just let's just annotate. I don't like that red. Let's make beautiful pink. All right. Oh, no, let's get our lavender here. All right, so what I don't like about this. Uh, first of all, it's not warm and not cold. Nothing is here quite neutral. So it's that kind of undecisive color palette. It's, it's actually not really attractive to me. Okay, that's number one. Second, it's very, very busy. Oh, look at this lavender. Oh, I'm drawing right now with, you see, it's a bloody mess here. <laughs> okay, we have yellow, we have red. We have, we have gray, we have dark, whatever we have here. It's kind of like, oh, I'm like, I don't know. Okay, I can reinterpret it, fine. But let me ask you, what is the focal area here? I'm going to switch into red. Where would you, con you need to concentrate on the sun. All these people, they're not located very nice. They're blocking the view, in fact. You see the way they are located? You see this sign? It's called do not enter. You see this? I'll put this round one. Do not enter. Stay away from these people. Something in your painting, uh, let me just clear it. Hold on. Has to let it in. You see what I mean? And somebody told me that when the viewers actually, uh, let me just, uh, what I'm going to tell you, it's a revelation probably. And it's not my idea. I heard it from professional painter. The viewers in the museum looking at your painting would like to enter it like this from this lower left and then they would like easily exit your painting like this so that kind of art is actually very important and what we see here they said do not block it with picket fence do not block your painting like this i don't know this is kind of the the ball in a you know i don't know I don't know, would I agree to it or not? I'm not sure, but I would agree that these people are blocking. And this is very important issues, compositional issues, my friends. This is all very important, okay? So there is no clear entrance and exit. Plus, no focal. Is it this lamp focal? I doubt it. Where is the focal? There, there, there is nothing here. It's just a road, okay? And then we have beautiful background, I agree. Background is beautiful. That's why I stuck here for long, for so long. This is photograph is typical of what we have. And then we think and scratch in our heads. Shall I paint it or not? Oh, I like this. But at the same time, uh, there is no clear anchor for me to. Okay, so uh, overall, again, 15 likes. Jane, very close to painting it. And that is actually very, very good photograph overall. But painting, I'm not sure. All right, so let's go to the next one so so far the win this is the winner so far okay so jane roy so far has the most likes 
And what Zahid sent us has four likes here. And uh, again, I'm double clicking on it. Beautiful subject matter. I love this kind of things. Boy, I love this. Annotate, let me see. The speaker thing standing in the rule of thirds solidly is just nice. You see what I mean? So I think overall, it's a little bit cold. Everything is cold. cold. There is a very warm clouds in the sky. Uh, these photographs actually need to be adjusted in the color department in Photoshop. If you would just, if you would just take it to Photoshop, the heat, and click automatic colors, it's called just one button. It would transform into much better photo. This is cold. Let me just clear all drawing. Look at this cold. Mostly it's cold. Cold. This yellow is very cold. Cold, 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 cold. And all of a sudden, I have this track which is warm. That's the only thing. And then I ask myself a question. Do you really, if there is anything about this track? Uh -uh, I want to be here. So this needs to be exaggerated. And that's why the heat, unfortunately, we didn't get dislikes. So I, you know, so uh, I would adjust this photo before painting. And I, in my personal op opinion, it's very paintable. You can make a very good uh, painting out of it, but but that's what it is. Uh, okay, so next is going to be. Let me just go to the next photograph. The next, oops, ta ta ta, Larissa Anaya, and that is of course Moscow. I know, recognize it immediately. Humongous building right here, which got four likes over there. Wow, what a scale of things! Look at that. I enjoy looking at it tremendously. The great light here, look at this. Oh, this warm, warm and warm palette counterbalanced with a cool sky and very cool uh, frozen Moscow River. And this huge bridge over there. And did you notice it lies in a rule of third, right solidly sitting right here. And that is nice. The tower in the middle, that's a problem. Again, the tower in the middle, it's like, look at me, okay, I'm here. And that actually breaks it. If that tower would be right here, I would consider it. If that tower would be right here, I would consider it. I think it's, um, I'm not sure, I think it's, a, uh, um, I think it's a Hotel Ukraine. I think that's what it is. I, I actually, I used to live nearby somewhere there on to the right. Well, anyway, so that's what's happened. That's what's happened here. So let me just uh, clear. The, the, but color wise, look at this beautiful gray sky with wonderful settled yellow tower is, is, is really, really good. All right, the next photo, uh, uh, which is Larissa Sanders, this one. Mm. If that woman, let me tell you something, I would do that. If that woman pay me, say I want my portrait and send me this, I would say, yeah, let's do it. Just let's crop it like this. Okay. I like the reflections and that's what it's all about in this. And uh, let's do it. Just pay me. Otherwise I'm not interested. You see what I mean? But that woman is not paying me to paint her I have uh, reflection is wonderful actually, but again, it's her reflection. It's a per very personal photo. So um, I would say probably I'll pass on that. So that is kind of thing, but again, nice snowy day. Uh, and you see the snow melting. It, it has some mood, I have to agree, but uh, basically, 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 this is not really, it's very personal photo. Um, I had, I was on a kind of like events when they send me photographs to paint and said, Vlad, we have a buyer if you paint this. And I said, well, but I don't want to paint this. I said, but, but they want you to paint this. They already kind of ready to buy. And I said, I'm not going to paint it because it's very personal photo. I have no attachment to anything. All right. So what we're going to do, we're going to next one. Elaine Abrams, Elaine. Thank you for sending this one. I would find it also very accidental. There is no clear focal anywhere. There are two likes, unfortunately, here. I think it deserves much more than two. But to be honest with you, if I would annotate, I would say, first of all, everything is skewed. You should have fixed it. Even the phone, your phone has a tool to <clears throat> fix everything. And if you would just crop it like this, 
that that could probably be but still i mean there is where to look at these two people i'm not sure very accidental blue <clears throat> sorry blue balconies not sure about this so i would pass on this too it's kind of but again the misty character of everything is very attractive i like the trees over there these trees are very very good but because they are falling kind of in this direction i don't know i'm just kind of like you know clear so you need to adjust your your you need to adjust your you're, uh, you're supposed to adjust it a little bit. And uh, <clears throat> Elaine, there is another one. She's in another one with one like. Uh, let me click on it. This is much more interesting. Again, if I would just, you know, um, bam, bam, annotate and just crop it something like that, that probably could be, you know what I mean? Look at this. That focus right here. You see, we have something here on the line. We have a diagonal road going in this direction. And then we have a row of buildings. That beautiful. That is actually would be great. So uh, why I did this event, my friends, it's actually not to just discuss why and this, but I just wanna, want you to, to, to learn how to take your photograph and make something out of it. And most of them, you, you can do it, actually, you can do it. I would say that 60% of photograph is uh, doable, paintable. Uh, Clear drawings. And so let's go to the next one. And this leaf blowers on the left is really driving me nuts. Carol uh, Ashmead. Hello, Carol. Congratulations. So you're winning of this, of this, of this Hamimil, uh, Hamimil, uh block, watercolor block. That's uh, wonderful. And let's click on this one. Again, I don't know how to paint it in watercolor. Very hard, very hard. Lots of negative space to paint. It needs to be adjusted in terms of the color because it's very cold. Everything is blue. Even your yellows are very cold. And it's kind of makes it <clears throat> a no-go for me at the way it is right now. So, and compositionally, and uh, as a postcard, this is beautiful. I like three steps. I like these three steps at the bottom, you see? Kind of leading you in a little bit. Compositionally, very well composed. So. But that is actually, again, has very common problems here. And that view has how many likes only? I even liked it. Look, I, I, I mean, this is because I like composition, actually. I'm a composition junkie. And uh, even if it's not paintable, I just like the way it looks overall. So, all right, so one like, yeah. So it's not a winner. The next, the next view she sent, is this one. Again, I liked it a lot. I, you, I mean, Carol has a, an eye for composition. I have to give it to her. Look at this. I mean, guys, again, the, the rule of thirds here is very good. And that would actually number one people, look at this. We have like, let me just draw it. One, two, three, four. You see, this is solidly here. The tree, is not in the middle, tends to this. You see what I mean? The shrub, all three of these elements right here located along of the rule of thirds with a building sandwich somewhere off slightly off center, but it's not important. Again, hard for me would be to pick up the, uh, the focal here. And the next one would be, so the next photo is this, lovely. Lovely, totally different mood. And again, what's wrong with this? It's, this one is not well, well, well cropped. So what we're gonna do is look how many, you and three others. All right, so I'm going to annotate. And I would say, Carol, if you just would do this, look, cut it over here. Oh, I might even paint it actually here, go down and this and just remove this part of the fence, make a big snow pile over there. And you have a, no, 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 sorry, I'll take it back. This tree now, it falls into the middle. So basically, okay, let me clear, okay? I like this photo. This is actually excellent. Look at this. So we're going to get more of the foreground and this, okay? Something like this. Or, hold on, clear. This is not easy. Who said it is? Look at this. Now we're going different way. 
Now that's going to be in the middle. You see, that's a problem after problem, maybe like this. No, no, very hard to make, very hard from this view to make a solid, solid, maybe like this, look. This tree in the middle just kills it, no. So that's why we don't have that many clear. And then we're going to, uh, I don't know what to do with this. And then we're going to have another one. Oh, again, very nice subject method with the tree. I would say Richard Schmidt would paint it in oil, no problem. And I like the color of the tree, like talking to the color of this building a little bit, yeah? A little bit too much perhaps. So they're blending with each other. So you need to adjust it. If that would be a brown tree, that would be much better. But this is very nice. You and four others, you see what I mean? I like all of your photographs. Beautiful snowy, fresh snow, everything is. But we are we are actually in minority here. So, and, and the next one, oh, that's the last one. Okay, so the next painter, Elaine Abrams. I don't know what happened to my photos. I posted twice. And Elaine, you probably got into the uh, Communist Party blacklisting department of Soviet Union. So you're never going to get posted here. I'm so sorry, it's a bad joke. But I don't know what, what's happened, Elaine. Okay, so Carlos, Carlos Valenza, snowing in Spain. Wow, 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 what an images. Let's talk about this one. This is, to me, is a little bit Disneyland, okay? I don't know the, what the focal here, is it the star or this? So I'm not really crazy about this image. The next one is, you have five likes, snowy street right here, and that is way better. I love this view. Again, you see what's wrong with this? Everybody already know by now that this street is almost in the middle. And there is nothing here. So if you would, Carlos, just crop the hell out of it like this, look, like this. I'm just working with you on this. Like this, much better view. You would get like probably three times more likes here. The tree is supposed to be not in the middle. So one third, beautiful, beautiful. And I like that aerial view. So let me clear everything. And the muted colors, very nice, very nice. I'm not after the bright images here. That's why I wanted to see what you're going to submit. So basically that's what it is. And then do I have you send anything else? <laughs> Thank you very much, Carlos. <laughs> this is so funny. Oh my God. I think despite of his cover facing that creature caught COVID, and it's slowly dying. Look at this, it's melting in front of us. It's actually should be, should be just iconic photograph, which printed in a magazine. And it's, it's, it's just, it, I applaud your sense of humor. Thank you, Carlos. This is, you made my day with this. Actually, this is so funny. All right, okay, so the next, the next, the, and how many likes? One like, oh, okay, all right, so, all right. The next painter is uh, Winter Photo by Luan Click. Luan Click uh, sent us this, which is has eight likes, okay? And it's absolutely gorgeous view with the red house over there. And this is just, you know, something about this foreground makes me uneasy. Okay, something about that is not making it clear winner. I, I love the tree. So if I would just do this, look at this. That would be, that's what you're supposed to do. Maybe even like that. You see that line is very boring of trees. We can cut it off and then just do and crop it like this. That would be so much better. And I have clear focus on this one, two, three and the red barn, no house, I'm sorry on the left, that would be really, really nice. So let me clear and show you one more time with black. I'll just black it out. Look at this. I like this view so much. That's why <clears throat> I'm kind of going for this. So like this, this, like this, this, and this, no? The tree kind of in the middle falls. And all of this is gone. All of this is gone, right? Like, look at this. We're kind of zooming in. 
So basically, you, when you do your photo, ask yourself a question. I mean, I mean, is anything can be removed from it? You see, much better. Focused right in. And now I have clear focal, focal, uh, focal kind of like, like magnet area right here. You know what I mean? Like, like this right here, kind of inviting area here with the foreground trees crossing it. That is really nice. So uh, eight likes, no wonder we have a lot here. And that is just wonderful. And let me see anything else we have here. Uh, oh, my many more. Okay, so, and that is from Luan Click. Luan, okay, so another one. I love this photo. I love this photo. Oh, I love this photo so much. This is so much nice. This is so much nice. Again, we need to just take it out. Let me show you, uh, annotate, and then it would be a winner. And only two likes. I'm really surprised here. Really surprised here. So I, I want to pick up another color. I would just, you know, again, I would just go and cut off this and maybe this, like this, less, less, less is more here. And that's it. It's perfect picture, picture perfect. That's what they say. All right. That would be nice. All right. So uh, clear, clear all drawings. And then we're going to uh, go to the next image. I like it, but not as much as the previous one because of luck. And that boat is not very kind of, you know, kind of elegant here in the middle. And the metal thing on the side of the road is also bothering me. So, but the building, the building itself is quite attractive. Uh, so, and this, this one, that one also has compositional problems here because of that stone wall in front of you. So you need to really rethink this. And again, if you will just take this red buildings with a, with a, with a barrier in front, somehow better uh, view of it, that would be much better because it has separate parts in this thing, okay? So four likes here. And that is actually wonderful. All right, um, next, Vivian Step Stephenson. Vivian, thank you for sending this us. And that is, I guess it's London, right? Let me just, we have three likes here. This one, I'm not as convinced as this one. I think that this has a very, very strong focal area here. And again, if I would paint it, uh, uh, you see there is a problem here. The problem is with the light. Look at this. So first of all, let me get rid of color here. Uh, first of all, you need to really concentrate on this. You cannot have this and look at this and this and this and this and this. And then you're like, I need an Advil. I need a painkiller here. My brain is hurting me. It's just too much. You know what I mean? So question is, what you really want to concentrate it. I would say that this one is the winner, okay? This is the most beautiful dominant kind of structure right here. Let me clear everything. But the problem, it's just in shade, it's dark, you see? There is, so this one is actually complemented by natural light, but this one is not. That's why we don't have much, much likes here. It's just if you would come here diff during different, uh, time of the year. There's a little snow, you legal here in, the, in this, so you're good. But if you would come in a different type of the day, time of the day, that would be probably a winner here. I would just crop it like this, look. And that is, this is it. Beautiful. Even this beautiful and a little bit of this in the background. Okay, I would get rid of this, of course. And this, and this ugly contemporary, I don't know what it is. It's like, oh, it hurts just looking at it. But actually that would be amazing. Even construction doesn't bother me. Look at this construction things on the lower right. That would be actually awesome. All the look all day looking in the Facebook and ask somebody people paintings, it's just beauty, beautiful, eye candy, eye candy. But the life is more than that. Sometimes we do construction signs, construction barriers. They're very nicely leading, leading into the, Oops, I cannot draw for some reason here, hold on, okay. Yeah, leading right here. You see my arrow? Very nice. So basically, but one like, so uh, 
clear all drawings. Thank you for sending. And that is kind of a shame because London, I mean, could be wow. Now, uh, so let's Sakina, thank you, Chinatown, District Columbia. This is actually a very nice view. I, I see the dominant like spire here in the middle, right? Very nice. Again, if you would crop it a little bit more, that would be actually how many? Five likes. I like it too. Just, just make it like this. You don't have to show all of this, you see? Show that it is a dominant part. We don't want all of this. Nobody wants to see this. There's nothing there. If you can crop out even more, that would be better. You probably don't want, look at this. You don't even have to show the spire totally. Let the viewer finish the spire for you. But again, how to paint it? I'm squinting, it's all one gray blob. One gray blob with just big, what's going on here it's crazy to paint i don't know how to even paint it i'm afraid to paint it because there is so much there and you want to really convey the beauty of detail here because it's a chinese architecture and it has a filled with detail beautiful detail but how to really make it nice it's kind of the tree saves the picture that tree on the foreground on the right on the left i'm sorry is making it actually uh, saves the day here. It's because it's going to have our foreground and this is actually background. There is no mid ground here. That's a problem too, by the way. There is nothing in the middle. So uh, five likes, that's a lot actually, that's good. All right, so, so I'm going to clear, clear, okay, all drawings, going to go to the next painter. And the next painter is Solet again, right? So she sent us something different, totally different. Again, very cool. You need to adjust this photograph. Lots of sky, lots of lots and lots. I'm drowning in the sky. Oh my God, I don't see no nothing. I just drowning in the sky and there is nothing in the sky. So the question is why we have this? I mean, it would be some kind of dramatic clouds here. I would say, yeah, let's go for it. But again, I like the mystic quality. It's very winter and it's a lot of negative space. I would say that this wonderful photo, if you will just, you know, live just like this sky, we have gradation here from the warm tones to the cool ones here, that's nice. That would be good, very good painting. Um, Again, the photo focals, it has problems. And then this, remember I told you, enter and exit your painting. This is actually bad having here. It's bad. You should ignore this next time you see it, okay? So overall, I like the mystic quality of this and really wintry. Feels like really cold, but it needs, the photo needs a lot of work to make it happen as a good painting. All right, so let me just go further, clear all drawings, okay? And then I'm going to see, okay, what we have more here? Four likes. Marian Hergovitz from Hungary. Hello, Marian. She's a good friend of mine, and thank you for sending me those. Again, I'm looking at this photo. Very nice, but something dullness in color somehow it just doesn't really have you see what's happening here my friends winter photographs you need to be very very careful the high contrast here it means this is whitest white and darkest dark in the old photograph also here versus this it's all in the wrong places here here yeah, yeah. It has four likes here, okay? And the focal area right here, which would be a focal, is very well, very well not defined in terms of the contrast. You see sky is very close to this, this, and this. So basically, basically, it's very hard to make it, to make it a compelling photo, a painting out of this beautiful photograph. Otherwise, beautiful, beautiful photographs right here. Very nice. Again, I don't know how to paint this, guys. When I need to, there are some tricks in watercolor. There are some tricks. They, they, it can be done, but I need to practice. I don't know. 
I, I cannot show you paint alone, like say how to do that. So uh, let me just go and clear. And then we're going to the next photo of this. And that is wonderful, except it has this right in the middle, this handrail, which covers everything, okay? Uh, this is like snow in Budapest, I guess, right? And if, the, if this just way too much crossing it right in the middle, and I wish you could just step a little bit closer, uh, not eight, a little bit closer to that barrier, and take a photo of this, perhaps like this, and that would be a winner. That would be such a winner, Marion. That would be wonderful. But again, it's very cold. Remember, some cameras, they're just making everything cool, cooler than it is in real life. So you need to adjust. Very cool sky, snow, this yellows. Uh, buildings are very cool, yellow, gray, cool cool there is no balance anyway except little roof here which is kind of but it's not enough to balance it all so three likes and unfortunately this is really really good good photo now let me just go to the and that's two photographs from marian thank you so much uh, budapest yes kathy berger gilson what a photo everybody look at it 14 likes wow wow what a wonderful image we're looking at wow just like i want to look for a second at one more time enjoying all of this would i paint it no i would not as a photograph would i send it as a postcard yes happy merry christmas happy new year this and that and that it's just absolutely gorgeous photograph unfortunately i don't think it's paintable you see what i mean it's going to be just a copy of gorgeous photographs it's basically perfect in terms of everything annotate look at this rule of thirds i can feel like i am it's anathema even to put these lines on top of that beauty beautiful rule of third here the foreground falls into one third okay and then we have this opening into one third oh my god everything is fine why it's, i wouldn't paint it uh, you know i just it's just complete already you know there is nothing else to add for me nothing personal i can add to this to make it different to make my personal kind of impact on it it's already that good it's already that good picture perfect you know what i mean why i wouldn't paint it another reason it's there is kind of probably i don't have a personal connection to it i don't know how to connect to it uh, if you would put like, say, like again, a horse with a peasant here, you know, something like this, or the guy making something like a pile of wood, you know, something, or the wood pile of, it's just picture perfect. Wow, what a photo. You should send it and make a, 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 a postcard out of it. It's just a postcard, perfect, perfect postcard. But also, there is foreground not connected into the mid-ground logically but visually it is but logically it is not you see what i mean so it's just the eye candy of unbelievable extent real real powerful real good i don't know how to paint it nicely so and and and, and you know what we would use we use a lot of water here to spray with water make it receding the background slightly darker elm right here right it's elm i guess right a little bit fade up this and a very focal here this is focal area no problem but it's done it's perfect therefore i don't know i don't know what to do with it to be honest with you okay but who, whoever took took this photo is a genius let me tell you immediately all right so what we're going to do Congratulations, Kathy. You can sell this photo and get a lot of money just, you know, making it available as, uh, you know, sometimes they have photo dumps somewhere they can use for the. All right. So now this one, 32 
likes for this. I don't know what, why, I don't know what. It's such a compelling story here. My friends, non-right send us something which is absolutely stunning here in a different way of stunning, full of life, not dreamy at all. Very, very optimistic image, very nice. I actually can paint this one. I see this like, tu -tu 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 -tu. you see this like, let me show you. Uh, annotate. You see the tu tu boom boom up and down up and down boom boom and then boom 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 bam boom this tall one and then there is a building we all want to be in right now right and then there is a background here. Look at this. This whole thing is background. We know how to paint it. We already painted. I'm already kind of painting it. The only thing is, and then reflection, <laughs> this kind of right connects it. Remember some photographs said, I just said, you know what? You can cut it off. It doesn't belong. That belongs here. Yeah? No problem. It's all connected. Every part of this image is connected. You know, we have very cool shadows, dynamic. This line of water, it's not horizontal. If it would be horizontal, that would be. My friends, this has got 32. So it's a winner at this point right here. And look at this color balance. Cool, warmer green, warmer this, and then cool, and then neutral white, and then cool, and then warm uh, this. It's a quality of this photograph, my friends, is very good. You see what I mean? So uh, let me just clear again. And then we have cool, and then we have... Uh, uh, warm and then there's water is warm and it's cool like in this uh, in this sense so we're going to probably we're probably going to so far this is the winner and it's beautiful i would just straighten out this you know straighten out slightly this or lean them this way lean them up as it way into the picture into the picture you know what i mean you can leave this one Linear this way, so into the picture. I wish it could be more compact. I wish we could, let me just clear all. There is something about it, which is just maybe too much. I don't know. Maybe just cut it off like this. I don't know. We're gonna, I'm gonna think about it and play with it a little bit more. Maybe that is not needed. You know what I mean? I just removed this. I think it's got even better. You know what I mean? Vertical half imperial size painting, okay, and that is now much more compelling, you know what I mean? I think the less is more, less is more. We all know it's just a mountain that may be lower like this, okay? Would you agree? Huh? Look at this, now it's like really good. From the good photograph, it become a great photograph. So always think, can I crop the hell out of it and it still be as good as uh, my initial impression? And if you can, do it, do it, because all that extra is extra words wasted. All right, so clear all drawing, and then we're going to go to the next one. All right, so, and that this one, okay? This is not very nice. Very nice, very nice. But compositionally, it's not as nice. So what we have here, my friends, look at this. We have one, two, and three. You see the symmetry that kills it, you know? Just going to do this, look at this. Crop it, eight likes, that's a lot. Look at this, crop it like this, crop it like this even. And that is going to be a better image. All of this is not needed. If you like this house, take it somewhere and put it here artificially. And now we just move the house in the right place, right here, and it's become even better. Agree? I agree with myself. <laughs> Congratulations, Vlad. And that would be actually very good because look at this background, mid ground, foreground, all three checks here. Okay. We, have, we even have these buoys here, for God's sake. We have birds over there. Oh my God, this is like, wow, like none, you are, wow, killer photo master here. All right, so clear all drawings. And then we're going to the next, let's just, okay, so, uh, so none right, so far is the winner. And then we're going to, how many left? Oh, that's it, and that's it. Uh, last one, Dan, oh, we already looked at it. My friends, this is it, that's the end of this. Let me just uh, show you the winner one more time, okay? That's what we're probably going to do the first, uh, the first month uh, in uh, the first 
uh, painting paint along in in March, and then we are going to uh, start our March with this, and then and then I'm going to take a break. I will we're going to paint four, then I'm probably going to take a break of paint alongs for a while. Maybe March, April is none, nothing I'm going to do, so be ready for that. But March, we are keep going. Uh, and that is, let me just read this, breathtakingly beautiful, um, uh, non, uh, great job. Uh, Marianne Stubbins, so beautiful, the reflection on the water uh, of the cabin is exceptional. Absolutely, the shadows on the snow, awesome. Um, exactly, we just want to be there, all of us, all right, with, I don't, I skate, I don't really do skiing, but uh, I would even put my ski on, if I would have just been there, looking at everything, I, th I think I would have a killer day here, uh, Marlene, right, so beautiful, the reflection, uh, the snow, just makes me, yeah, uh, Annette, I love this, there is so much reason to paint this, absolutely, my friends, so, I'm going to stop sharing back to you and the congratulations for all of you. I would like to thank you all of you that you send your photographs. I think we're going to have a great time in March uh, seeing each other painting together. And behind me, you see, you recognize this painting and you already posted so many of it, of this view and it's like exceptional. You know what I mean? I, I like my painting of course too, but when I look at yours, I'm like, wow, I should have painted like that, I'm thinking, guys, and that is what you're doing is just really, really good, so, so I, I hope that, you know what, the winter is like, it's, we're going into springtime, so the winter photos, it's probably going to be the last winter photo, uh, which we're going to do in March, I'm going to work hard now to pile up three more of my own, uh, it's going to be something else, um, you perhaps want to, and doesn't mean I'm going to listen to you, but I would like to know, send Marina requests of what kind of views you would be interested to paint during the, the months of March. Would it be like, I know, city views more, water views, boats, what we have here? Um, I don't know, people, I don't know. I don't know, maybe people, maybe people doing something. Think of something, you know, well, I will look at it and send it today, just right now. You can just put it uh, send uh, an email to Marina or something, you know what I mean? And then uh, think about it and then we'll might just jump into that. For that, I'm going to again say sorry for the mishaps on, on uh, Facebook. Uh, we, were, we weren't able to go live for some reason. I had my doubts already, uh, but at least we did the session nicely. Recording is actually done. If you want to watch it one more time, Marina might send you um, uh, uh, might send you a link for that. And we might even post it on the Facebook for everybody. I don't know. So we'll see how it's going. Have everybody have a great day. It's a nice day here in Florida. And I wish you well, and I'm going to see you. Oh, by the way, let me just remind you before we go in that sketch along, that view, including this view sketch, is going to be on February 27th, on Sunday. We're going to draw all four of them, okay? So during two-hour sketch-along session. And paint along in March will start at March 1st this, uh, this, uh, this, this time. And free conversation on Facebook is, uh, is, is right now. And Chip Joe workshop, uh, going to be, I'm going to teach you how to paint cars, people, boats, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, professionally is going to happen in a, a March and uh, end of March and April. Go to Chip Joe website and sign up for this workshop. You won't regret it. It's very, very, how to say it, informative. You know what I mean? So uh, you will be in a good hands. Thank you very much and goodbye. Bye bye.